The Galaxy S4 internals get detailed. Samsung announces a passbook-like wallet service. And Microsoft says that Windows Phone 8 won't be as bad as 7 when it comes to upgrades. I'm Jaime Rivera, and I'm in desperate need of a cappuccino right now. This is Pocket Now Daily. You know, it's extremely odd for either Android or Windows phone manufacturers to either provide you with specific dates or specific pricing points for their future devices, but it seems that Nokia is raising the bar. If you remember the Lumia 520 and 720 devices that were just announced at MWC 2013, well, we've already got the price of 139 euros for the Lumia 520 and 249 euros for the Lumia 720, and both devices will be available as soon as April 1st. So if you're interested in these devices, obviously stay tuned. Our review should be live very soon soon. And speaking of Microsoft, all the terrible stories that Windows Phone 7 customers have lived in the past apparently will come to an end with Windows Phone 8 devices, or so says Greg Sullivan, which is their VP of marketing, or pretty much their marketing manager. The point being is that Windows Phone 7 customers would obviously not be able to upgrade to Windows Phone 8, but apparently that was due to hardware issues. According to Sullivan, Windows Phone 8 devices are obviously designed to be able to be upgradable in the future, so hopefully Windows Phone 9, or whatever it's going to be called, which is codenamed blue should be available for Windows Phone 8 devices, but after the story with Windows Mobile 6.5 or Windows Phone 6.5 and Windows Phone 7, I don't know what to believe. Let's just cross the fingers. Now let's talk about some MWC oddities. Last year, Anton and I both noticed in Barcelona that there was this NEC prototype device that allowed a dual screen UI, meaning you have a hinge that allows both screens to match together to make just one screen, pretty much turning the device into a tablet, sort of like what the Kyocera Echo tried to do, even though it eventually became one of the worst gadgets ever, at least on our list. And well, this NEC Media's W device is now available, and Tony and Michael were both able to film this device at MWC 2013, so make sure you hit the links in the description, follow the video. It's a kind of an interesting device, not sure I would recommend though, but obviously there are more MWC 2013 videos, so make sure you hit the links for the full playlist downstairs. Now, if any of you thought that Samsung was already tired of getting sued by Apple, well, it seems that they're not tired just yet. They've just announced a new wallet service, which ironically is not being called S Wallet. It's just Samsung Wallet. And the point being is that it looks exactly like the Apple Passbook application that you get on iOS. And the point is that it'll allow you, as with a joint venture with Visa, to make purchases through the service. Now, obviously, the Samsung service is better than Apple's because you do get NFC on Galaxy devices. So you will be able to use the device and the service to actually pay for something. But the point being is that obviously the service looks exactly like Apple's. But anyways, the service should be available soon, so stay tuned, we'll keep you posted. And finally, for the, well, I don't know if I should call this interesting news of the day. Apparently, the Galaxy S4 will retain the same processor strategy as the Galaxy S3. You'll get one processor in the United States and one processor in Europe, meaning you'll get the Snapdragon 600 in the United States, which we already noticed that in the HTC One breaks a lot of records when it comes to speed. And then you'll get the Exynos 5 octa-core processor in Europe. Yes, you'll get eight cores in Europe and quad core processor in the United States. So it's really hard to know if one device will be better than the other, but we did notice that there were some minor differences in the Galaxy S3 with the different processor types. So that leads me to the question of the day. Does it bother you that the phones in Europe have different internals than the phones in the United States or vice versa? In my particular case, I don't care which processor I get as long as I get LTE, but obviously your case could be different. So leave us a comment down below. Of course, if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Even though we never thought that Apple would release a 7-inch tablet, the iPad mini is finally among us, and even though it's a good tablet, we do know that it lacks key elements like a retina display, so is it still worth your buying dollar? Join us on Thursday, February 28th for the iPad mini, after the buzz.